This isn't that complicated. You make the planet hotter, you're going to have more frequent and intense heat extremes. And we are seeing that. Our climate models capture that, and they predict that that will get much worse in the future if we continue to burn fossil fuels and warm up the planet. At the same time, there's some subtle mechanisms uh, when it comes to how the pattern of warming of the planet is changing the Northern Hemisphere jet stream. And some of our own research suggests that that pattern of warming, in particular, the fact that the Arctic is warming faster than the rest of the planet, is actually changing the jet stream in such a way that it's more likely to get stuck in one of those very wavy patterns that you see on a weather map. And those waves are associated with big, high and low pressure systems that alternatively mean heat, drought, and wildfires in one place or excessive floods in other places. Uh, those wiggles in the jet stream are tending to get larger and they get locked in place. So the same location is under a heat dome day after day, like we've seen in North America this summer, like we're seeing in Europe right now. And that mechanism is actually not very well captured in the climate models. It's an important point because critics of climate policy like to say uncertainty is a reason not to act. It's just the opposite. Our models may in fact be underestimating the impact that climate change is already having when it comes to these damaging and deadly weather extremes.